value is. Absolute value means distance from zero on a number line. So if we were to draw a number line like this, with zero in the middle, and just go one, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, negative three, oops, and negative four and so on. Right? Let's have a look at what this would be. The absolute value of three. Absolute value is written with two lines straight up and down. These are not parentheses. So these two lines are for absolute value. Straight lines up and down. Whereas parentheses are curved. These are parentheses and they're used for other things like containing a negative three might be contained in parentheses or um, three multiplied by five might you might use parentheses in that gives 15 okay so absolute value is straight lines up and down and parentheses are curved this is absolute value of three the distance three is from zero well let's see how many units is three from zero well it's three units isn't it all right. How about the absolute value of negative two? How far is negative two from your, from zero? Now distance always has to be positive, doesn't it? So if we have a look at that, how far is negative two from zero? Well, it's two units from zero, right? How far is um, 9 from 0? Absolute value of 9. Well, 9 is up here somewhere. Wouldn't it be 9 units from 0? Yep. How far is negative 4 from 0? The absolute value of negative 4. Well, negative 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4 units from 0, isn't it? So absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. How far is 107 from 0? 107 units away. How far is negative 240 from 0? The absolute value of negative 240 is 240. So we can see if we take the absolute value of positive numbers, the answer is positive. If we take the absolute value of negative numbers, the, the answer is positive as well. Absolute value of a number just gives, makes it positive. Okay? So write down the answer to this. Absolute value of negative 1, absolute value of 5. That's definitely positive 1, and this is 5. Right? Okay, so what would this be? Um, we could have, for example, 2 times the absolute value of negative 3, right? If there's a 2 beside it, that means multiply. Now, the abs we should get the absolute value of negative 3 first. Absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. So what we have is 2 times positive 3, 6, okay? So do this, 10 times the absolute value of 4. Well, the absolute value we should get first. Absolute value of 4 is 4. 10 times that is just 40, right? How about this, though? The opposite. That's a negative. The opposite of the absolute value of 3. Hmm. What should we do with this? Don't you think we should take the absolute value first and then apply the negative sign? That's what we should do. We should take get the absolute value of 3, which is positive 3, then apply the negative sign on the outside, and that's negative 3. Now that's completely different to this, absolute value of negative 3. This is the opposite of the absolute value of 3, 
This one is the absolute value of negative 3. What's the difference? This one, the negative is on the outside. This one, the negative is on the inside. Completely different. Absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3, right? So let's have a look at this. What would the opposite of the absolute value of negative 4 be? The opposite of the absolute value of negative 4. You read it from left to right. Well, this negative is on the outside, right? So the absolute value doesn't affect it. This negative is on the inside. So we should get the absolute value of negative 4, positive 4. Now apply this negative, and that's negative 4. So calculate this, the opposite of the absolute value of 2. Of negative 2, rather. This negative is on the outside, this one's on the inside. The absolute value of negative 2, positive 2. And we have a negative on the outside, so the answer is negative 2. Now, figure this out. What's the absolute value, uh, uh, the opposite of the absolute value of 2? <coughs> Well, let's first of all calculate the absolute value of 2. Positive 2, right? Now deal with this negative sign on the outside. And that just goes there. So the answer is negative 2. Now, don't get confused because when we talked about opposites, we saw things like this. The opposite of the opposite of 3. The opposite of the opposite of 3, as we saw already, two ne double negative makes a positive, so that's positive 3. So what's the opposite of the opposite of 7? The opposite of the opposite of 7, now this is when you have the parentheses, the curve, that's positive 7. Don't get that confused with this the opposite of the absolute value of negative 7, where the lines are straight, not curved. Straight lines up and down means you've got absolute value. And in this case, we get the absolute value of negative 7, then apply the negative on the outside. Absolute value of negative 7, positive 7. Negative on the outside, that makes negative 7. Right? So figure these out. What's, the, what's this? And then what's this? And always remember your pause button is bottom left, full screen is bottom right. This says the opposite of the absolute value of negative 5. Absolute value of negative 5, positive 5. The opposite of that, negative 5. This has parentheses, they're curved. This says the opposite of the opposite of 5. Well, neg the opposite of negative 5, in other words, the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. Two negatives make a positive. Double negative makes positive. 